Chapter 4. Girls Named Caramel Every day, we have a carpool after school. Me, Penny, Willa, and Penny's friend Zoe. On Mondays, Mr. G usually picks us up. That's Willa's dad. The G stands for getter. My parents call Willa, Willa go getter. But this week, the carpool schedule was all mixed up. Since my mom was the field trip chaperone, she came back with us on the bus. Her car was in the parking lot at school, and she told Mr. G she would drive us all home. That meant Penny and I would get dropped off last. When other parents are driving, Penny and I get dropped off first because our house is the closest. Mom's car has three rows of seats, the front seat, the back seat, and the way back. Everyone likes to sit in the way back because you get to face the other way. You can wave at people in the cars, and sometimes they wave back. That day, it was Willa's and my turn to have the way back, so Penny and Zoe had to sit in the regular back seat. We got into the car and buckled up. Mom turned the radio on because she likes to have music when she's driving. Mom, Penny, and Zoe started singing along to a song called, Uh-Oh. There's a part of the song where you're supposed to snap. Mom never snaps when she's driving because she has to keep her hands on the wheel. Penny doesn't know how to snap, so she claps instead. I know what my new name is going to be, Willis said as we pulled out of the parking lot. I put my fingers to my lips, like the school librarian does when we're getting too noisy. Shh, I told her. It's okay, Willis said. Penny and Zoe aren't listening, and your mom's up front, so she can't hear. You should still whisper just in case, I said. I'm going to be Caramel, Willa said. Even though she was whispering, I could tell she was excited. Caramel Getter, Willa said. Cara for short. Doesn't it sound great? It did sound great. It sounded better than great. It was just about the best name in the whole world. Why didn't I think of the name Caramel first? I love Caramel. I mean, I really love it. It's one of my favorite kinds of candy. They sell caramel at Bat's Confections, and sometimes Mom puts a couple of pieces in my lunchbox. I have a special way of eating them. I suck on them instead of chewing them because then they last longer. When we go out for ice cream, Penny always asks for chocolate sauce on top, but I pick caramel. There's even a caramel flavor kind of Stella's fudge. I had forgotten all about caramel, but it was the perfect name for me. Caramel Bats, Carabats, or even Carrie Bats. It was such a great name. It had two nicknames. It sounds really cool, I said. I think I'll make that my name too. You can't be Caramel if I'm already Caramel, Willa said. Why not? Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I don't know what you mean, Willa said. I mean, we could be Caramel B and Caramel G. I said, just like Haley H and Haley V. It's still confusing when there are two, Willa said. Remember that time when we meant to have a play date with Haley V and my mom called Haley H's mom by mistake? I did remember. Haley H started to cry when she found out she was invited by mistake. It's definitely easier when everyone has their own name. Then Mrs. G said Haley V and Haley G should both come over and we had a really good time. Changing my name had been my idea first, so I thought I should probably get to make the rules. But if I told Willa that, she'd think I was being a meanie. We're not supposed to decide on our names until tomorrow, I reminded her. We can decide whenever we want. We just have to tell everyone tomorrow, Willa said. But if you decide too fast, you could pick the wrong name, I told her. No, I love it, Willa said. You're just saying that because you want to be Caramel. No, I'm not, I said, even though that was sort of a lie. I can help you think of another name, Willa said. There are lots of other good candy names. What about taffy, like saltwater taffy? I don't really like taffy, I said. What about Clark, you know, like Clark Bar? Clark is a boy's name, I reminded her, like Clark in our class. Besides, those names don't have good nicknames. I tried to make a list of candy names in my head, but nothing sounded right. Bonbons, licorice, sweet tart, starburst, butterscotch. I mean, who wants to be called butterscotch? 
What if I never found the right name? Or worse, what if there's a name that's meant for me and I never get to have it? Willa waved to the driver in the car behind us. It was a stranger, and sometimes it's fun to see if the strangers will wave back. But then Mom turned the corner onto Lakeview Way, Willa Street, and the car that was behind us zoomed past. We pulled up in front of Willa's house. Here you are, Willa go-getter, Mom said. She honked the horn so that Willa's mom would know to come outside. Willa undid her seatbelt and climbed over the back seat. Bye, Stell, she said. Bye, Willa. She shook her head. From now on, my name is Caramel or Kara, she reminded me.